Let's do a parable that might not be a parable, but it's totally a parable. In the Gospel of Luke, the 16th chapter, there is a story about a rich man and Lazarus. And, well, it doesn't sound like a parable because there's a guy with a name. And in all of the other parables, there's nobody who actually has a name. It's just a farmer, and that's who he is, or a manager. And here there's a dude named Lazarus, but it's a parable. Let's at least pretend. You tell me. All right, so here's the deal. Um, when the rich man dies and Lazarus dies, the rich man goes to Hades, uh, and the, the Lazarus goes to the bosom of Abraham, which they talk to each other. There's weird stuff. It's not going along with the rest of scriptures. Maybe that's not uh, real, but it's, it's sort of a parable. Um, anyway, uh, God says something along the lines of, the rich man just received all his nice things too soon, and now it's the poor man Lazarus' turn, and you know, it all evens out, except where's Jesus? We're doing it wrong. Let's start over and just hit the facts of this story, all right? So the rich man does great for himself. Being rich, not a sin. Uh, he wears nice clothing, not a sin. Eats good food, not a sin. God gives daily bread. Those are actually blessings you're supposed to thank him for. Um, he does, though, ignore his neighbor Lazarus in need. That is a sin. It's not a call to split his money in half with Lazarus, just to help. I mean, all Lazarus wanted were the scraps that fell from the table. And the rich man didn't have a single thought for Lazarus until he found himself tormented in hell and needing something from him. See, the rich man didn't end up in hell for being rich. He didn't use up all his nice things too soon. He sinned. That's, that's the weight of sin. His sin, your sin, my sin. Sin, break stuff. The wages of sin, death. Hades, hell. This is the weight of our selfishness. Uh, this is a real place, too. Um, as much as we try and reason away or ignore hell, it, it, it's a thing. Uh, there is a eternal separation from God, torment, burning, weeping of gnashing of teeth, place. It's the wages of sin. The rich man was punished for being a sinner. But Lazarus was not saved by being poor. He didn't earn or suffer his way into the arms of Abraham. Jesus suffered for our salvation. Remember what the Bible says? I don't know Lazarus's sins. I know he had them. Like, I know his ancestors. He's a son of Adam and Eve somewhere down the line, and that makes him born a sinner. But this is where the story, the parable, starts to shape up. See, for all the rich man has, I know his sins, just not his name. For all the poor man lacks, I don't actually know his sins. His sins are covered over, not because of wealth, but because of something simpler. The poor man had something the rich man was never given. He had a name. Lazarus means God has helped, which might be, might be the story, the parable. God helped Lazarus in his weakness. There are no more sins for Lazarus. He instead has the name given to him where God has made him. Somebody helped. God helped you at the cross, saved you at the cross, forgave all of your sins at the cross. He baptized you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit so that rich or poor, you mark yourself as saved, not because you did the right things all the time, but because God took away your sins. You have no sins left, only a name. You were baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Parable. Thanks for watching Higher Things video shorts. Remember to like, subscribe for notifications, and donate to support Higher Things at higherthings.org slash giving. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.